So let's figure this out. We've got 3 fourths minus 7 sixteenths. And whenever we are working with fractions, whenever we're subtracting or adding fractions, we need to get a common denominator. Right now we have 4 and 16. But if we had a common denominator, then we just deal with the numerator, bring the denominator across, and we'd be done. 4 goes into 16 four times. So if I said 4 times 4, that would be 16. And I'd have 16 here and here. Everything would be good. But I can't just multiply the denominator by 4. I do need to multiply the numerator by 4. That's because 4 over 4 is 1. So it's just 1 times 3 fourths. So it doesn't change anything in terms of the value. But now we can do this. 4 times 3, that's 12. 4 times 4 is 16. And then over here, we could subtract 7 sixteenths. So now we have this common denominator here, and 12 minus 7, that equals 5. And then we just bring the 16th across, and we have 5 16 So 3 fourths minus 7 16 that does equal 5 16 This is Dr. B. Thanks for watching.